Dear viewers, greetings. This present video is about archaeal flagella. The archaeal flagella or archaeolum is a unique tail like structure which is used for the motility of archaea. The archaeal flagellum is thinner in size and its size is ranging from 10 to 15 nanometer. Like bacteria, the structure of the flagellum can be divided into three components. First one is the filament, second one is hook and the third one is anchoring structure. Each of these components is constructed of specific proteins either encoded by genes residing within the flagella operons or of currently unknown genes. And next, the archaeal flagellum filament is assembled from archaeal subunits uh, which are N-glycolacetate proteins. The flagellation occurs in all the main group of archaea which includes halophiles, methanogens, sulfur dependent thermophiles and hyperthermophiles. Archaea use the motility apparatus that is the archaeal flagellum in combination with the chemotaxis system to bias the direction of movement towards the normal condition uh, which are more favorable for their cell growth. The archaeolum is considered to be a type 4 pilus like structure. The next is pili in archaea. The pili have been observed in archaea and it is composed of uh, proteins mostly like modified from the bacterial pilin. The resulting tube like structures have been shown to be used for the attachment to the surfaces. The next is difference between bacterial and archaeal cell flagella. The archaeolum is the functional equivalent of the bacterial flagellum, uh, but its architecture, composition, and mode of assembly is completely unrelated. The archaeal flagellum is thinner when compared to the bacterial flagellum. The size of the archaeal flagellum is 10 to 15 nanometer, and the size of the bacterial flagellum is 18 to 24 nanometer. The second difference is the rotation of an Archaeal flagellum is powered by ATP, but the proton motive force was used in the bacteria. The protein making of the archaeal flagellum are similar to the proteins found in the bacterial pili rather than the bacterial flagellum. The fourth difference is unlike bacteria, in which a single type of protein makes of the flagella filament, several different flagellum proteins are known from archaea and their amino acid sequences and genes that encodes them bears little relationship to those of the bacterial flagellin. And the next, the fifth difference is the archaeal flagellin filament is not hollow. Uh, so the growth occurs when flagellin proteins are inserted into the base of the filament rather than being added to the end. And the final difference is the clockwise rotation pushes an archaeal cell forward while the counterclockwise rotation pulls an archaeal cell backwards. An alteration of runs and tumbles is not observed in the archaea. That's all about the archaeal flagella. Dear viewers, thank you for your support and thank you for listening. Thank you.